Hey there, friends. Welcome back to Electricity Frenzy, your go-to place for all things sparky and electric. Today, we're diving into a topic that's as shocking as it is important, what really happens when you plug a 110-volt appliance into a 220-volt outlet. Trust me, this is something you'll want to know, especially if you love your gadgets as much as I do. Ever been on a trip abroad and thought, hey, I'll just plug in my trusty hair dryer or coffee maker, only to be greeted by a puff of smoke? Or maybe you've moved to a new place and didn't realize the outlets were packing more punch than your gadgets could handle. Well, you're not alone, and here's why that happens. Most household appliances in the United States run on 110 to 120 volts, right? It's like their comfort zone. But many other countries, and even some heavy-duty appliances in the U.S., operate on 220 to 240 volts. So, what's the big deal, you ask? Let's get into it. When you plug a 110-volt appliance into a 220-volt outlet, you're essentially forcing it to handle more electrical energy than it was designed for. It's like trying to fit a river through a straw. The appliance tries to draw the same amount of current as usual, but at the higher voltage, the overall power, which, remember, is voltage times current, skyrockets. Let's break it down. In the world of electronics, plugging a 110-volt appliance into a 220-volt outlet is akin to forcing a square peg into a round hole it's not just a bad fit, it's potentially disastrous. Here's what happens in this high-stakes electrical drama. Initially, the excessive voltage assaults the appliance's insulation. This insulation, designed to act as a guardian, keeping electricity on its intended path, is overwhelmed. The excessive power causes the insulation to degrade, forming cracks and gaps. Through these breaches, electricity, like water finding its way through the smallest cracks, escapes. This escape act isn't without consequences. It sets the stage for a more perilous event, a short circuit. With the insulation compromised, electricity diverts from its designated route, rushing through these newfound paths of lesser resistance. This detour isn't a harmless jaunt, but a high-speed chase that generates extreme heat. The appliance's internal components, unaccustomed to this thermal onslaught, succumb. Plastics may melt, circuits fry, and what was once a functional device becomes a casualty of electrical misadventure, burnt out and beyond salvage. This sequence, from overvoltage leading to insulation breakdown, to a possible short circuit, culminating in a burnout appliance, serves as a stark reminder of the importance of respecting electrical specifications. It's a cautionary tale, emphasizing that a little knowledge and the right precautions can prevent a lot of heartaches. Did you know that worldwide, electrical systems vary widely because of historical, infrastructural, and economic reasons? That's why some places have 110 volts and others have 220 volts as the standard always check before you plug. So, what can you do to keep your beloved gadgets safe and still use them around the globe or in a new home with different voltage? First off, always check the labels on your appliances. Many are dual voltage, meaning they can switch between 110 and 220 volts with just a flip of a switch or automatically adjust. For those that aren't, meet your new best friend, the voltage converter. This handy device will transform that roaring 220 volts down to a gentle 110 volts, so your appliance can sip electricity without a care in the world. And for simpler needs, a travel adapter might just do the trick, making sure your plug fits the outlet, while your device already handles the voltage like a champ. Now, we're dialing into a topic that hits a different kind of wavelength, what happens when your appliance dances to a different beat, I mean, operates on a different frequency than your power supply. And, more importantly, what can you do about it? So, we've talked about voltage, but there's another key player in the power game, Frequency, measured in Hertz, HZ. In the US, our electric systems groove to a rhythm of 60 Hertz, while many other parts of the world vibe to 50 Hertz. But what does that mean for your beloved gadgets? Think of frequency like the tempo of a song. Appliances are designed to operate at a certain tempo. A motor designed for 60 Hertz running on 50 Hertz may turn slower, affecting its performance. On the flip side, running a 50 Hertz appliance on 60 Hertz might make it run faster potentially leading to overheating or even damage. Imagine playing a vinyl record meant to spin at 45 RPM on a turntable set to 78 RPM. The music speeds up, sounding all funky, and not in a good way. Similarly, an appliance running on the wrong frequency might not work as intended, and it could shorten its lifespan or ruin it outright. So, what's the solution? Well, for starters, check if your appliance is frequency-specific or if it's designed to handle both 50 Hz and 60 Hz. Many modern electronics are designed to work with both, making them global troopers. For those appliances that can't automatically adjust, you'll need a frequency converter, 
kind of like a translator that helps your appliance understand the local electric tempo. These devices can be pricey and are usually justified for more expensive equipment or where no alternative appliance is available. Check the video description you will find my recommended high-rated converter. Remember, a travel adapter will make sure your plug fits, but it won't change the frequency. For that, you need the right converter that matches your appliance's power requirements. Ever wondered what could happen if you use a voltage converter with power lower than your device? Let's delve into this electrifying scenario. Imagine this, you're in a foreign land, armed with your trusty voltage converter, ready to power up your gadgets. But here's the twist, your converter's power rating is lower than what your device needs. What could go wrong? Well, let's break it down. Your voltage converter acts as a mediator between your device and the power source. It transforms the electrical energy from one form to another, ensuring compatibility. But if the converter's power rating is lower than what your device demands, trouble brews. When you plug in a device that requires more power than the converter can handle, it's like trying to pour a gallon of water into a pint-sized cup. The converter struggles to meet the device's demands, resulting in a bottleneck. This bottleneck can lead to a few potential issues. First off, your device might not work properly. It could experience performance issues, like dimmer lights, slower motors, or erratic operation. Imagine trying to power a high-performance blender with the energy of a wind-up toy. Not exactly smooth sailing, right? But it doesn't stop there. If the power mismatch persists, it could put stress on both the converter and your device. Over time, this stress could cause premature wear and tear, potentially damaging the converter. So, what's the solution? Ensure your voltage converter's power rating matches or exceeds the requirements of your device. This way, you'll avoid the pitfalls of underpowered converters and keep your gadgets humming along smoothly. And there you have it, the lowdown on keeping your appliances in tune with the right frequency, no matter where you are in the world. Always check your appliance specifications and when in doubt, consult with a professional before plugging in. Stay safe, stay informed, and keep those gadgets running smoothly. And there you have it, a deep dive into the importance of matching your voltage converter to your device's power needs. Before you dash off to plug in your next gadget, I've got one more crucial tip for you. Don't miss out on ensuring your setup is as safe and efficient as possible. I've taken the liberty of curating a list of highly recommended, top-rated voltage converters and multimeters just for you. These are tools every tech enthusiast should have in their arsenal, ensuring you're always prepared, no matter what electrical challenges come your way. So, do yourself a favor, check out the video description below. There, you'll find links to the best voltage converters and multimeters on the market. Equip yourself with the right tools to avoid the pitfalls of underpowered devices and ensure your gadgets always perform at their best. And as always, keep exploring, stay safe, and elevate your tech game. Thanks for watching Electricity Frenzy. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell so you never miss out on our electrifying tips and tricks.